and I'm back with my guys today. Today we're talking about Rainbow Six Siege. Obviously, as you can see, we have Operation Health. I know it's been a little bit less than a month since this operation has come out, but I want to talk to you guys about how this update is going to affect just the regular player. To many, it's like a bunch of updates, and uh, I think Ubisoft put in a like a three-part like little cycle. They're going to have up update 2.2.0. 2.2.1, 2.2.2, and what each of those updates is going to be, 2.2.0 is what you see right now, obviously they changed the UI systems, uh, the UI interface, sorry, um, they have operators, and nothing really changed, they have some nerfs and buffs, not really that much, they're messing with the servers a lot, that's why you guys get a lot of maintenance happening while you're playing, uh, that's usually just with update 2.2.0, just trying to fix it, you know, regular old shit. 2.2.1 comes out and they're gonna implement, I think it's called one step matchmaking. So instead of these four little dots, you're gonna get one step. So it's gonna go from the beginning all the way to the end. You're gonna be matched with a squad. You're gonna be matched with uh, another squad. So instead of finding only four players, you're gonna find all other, all nine other players and then you'll be able to, you know, play. It's gonna work a lot better in ranked. It's gonna work a lot better in casual. It's gonna be so much faster. I think there will be another UI interface, um, UI change, but I don't think there's gonna be that much. Update 2.2.2, which is the last update of Operation Health before they give us the mid-season reinforcements, is they're gonna add, um, I don't know what they're called, there's the action packs? I, don't, I honestly don't know what they're called, but they're like these little packs you see a bunch of people tearing open and uh, getting skins, basically like supply drops in Call of Duty, but a lot better systems. All the stuff inside those packs are exclusive to the pack, so you cannot buy them with Renown, you cannot buy them with R6 credits, and you cannot buy them with money. They're exclusive to those battle packs. I'm just gonna call them battle packs because I really don't know. But they're exclusive to those battle packs. And what the battle packs are gonna be is kind of like the Advanced Warfare, if you guys ever played Advanced Warfare. So um, you have the chance to get one every time you play. As you play, let's say you don't get one one match, that means it'll start stacking your progress. So let's say you need 30,000 XP, you play one match and only get 28,000, you're not gonna get 30,000 XP, first of all. That's just an over-exaggeration. So, so you need 30,000 XP, but you get 28 during a game. They'll be like, okay, you know, you need two more. Let's give it to you next time you hit 2,000 XP. So you get that 2,000 XP, you get your battle pack and it continues going like that. I really don't know if it's gonna be XP based. I don't know if it's just gonna be time play based or it's gonna be kill based. I have no idea. They haven't released that information yet, but it will be in update 2.2.2, which is scheduled for July. 2.2.1 is scheduled for June this month, and 2.2.0 obviously came out back in May on the 26th. Um, I can't find a match. This is one other uh, fuck up for the game, I'm guessing, but obviously this update is going to be really cool. Uh, sadly, we don't have operators. A lot of players are really, really mad about that, that we don't have operators just like we do in the, all the other uh, DLCs. You don't have a new map, but they did say that they were gonna make up for it. I think they were gonna upload or release three operators in the next operation, and then three operators in the one after that. So we get our total of six operators throughout the whole season, throughout the whole year, sorry. So I really don't know how they're gonna release the other two operators. I, I just think they could probably just cheated us out of it. Um, and then the rest will be obviously added on uh, update 2.2.0, the one that we're in currently. They're gonna mess with hitboxes and a bunch of stuff, so um, I think Blitz and Montaigne are gonna get uh, nerfed pretty bad. Um, Glass has already been nerfed to no, he's no longer a two shot, he's like a four shot to, you know, most of the body. Um, I, I don't know, I can just think of another, a lot of the hitboxes that are gonna mess up. Uh, they're gonna mess with recoils a lot too on some of the weapons. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Just uh, all the operators you guys main, you should probably just be, you know, keeping an eye on how they're played, the new metas that are coming out. There's obviously uh, new changes to weapons. They're gonna be substitution for smokes uh, on the FBI SWAT players, and they're gonna substitute them with concussions, and they're gonna give them to, I think, the the Bope operators, which is like Capitan and Caballera. So we're gonna give those guys the smokes and wonder how that's gonna play out with Caballera. Hopefully not too bad instead of the impact. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I think this is a pretty short video, just five minutes. Uh, I really didn't really have a video today, to be completely honest. I just wanted to let you guys know what this means for the casual player, if you guys were casual players. 
you guys are competitive players, you're probably going to want to play or look at the, you know, the patch notes a little bit more in depth. Looks like we are going to get a casual game real quick here, so let's just see if we can finish it off fairly quickly. Don't really have much of the volume playing. We're going to be playing on Yacht. We're actually going to be playing some Cavalier. I feel like playing Cavalier today. Uh, I don't think I'm at a party, so they'll probably be hearing me rant on about dumb shit. Unless my mic is muted. Yeah, it's muted, so we're good. Uh, let's run Caviera. Even though I do want to get this uh, Cap Can challenge. A lot of people, uh, you go to the Ubisoft Club. If you guys don't know, already use the Ubisoft Club, it's a really cool like mechanism uh, slash app or whatever that you can link to your Ubisoft account. And it gives you challenges where you can earn renown and even learn charms. Right now, since it's Russia Day, you might have seen it down in the left-hand corner of your Rainbow Six Siege while you're starting up. It's Russia Day. There's a Russian Day challenge. You win 20 rounds with Spetsnaz and you get a little charm. The charm is basically fucking pointless. It's a little circle with red and blue and the middle is white or the middle is red. I don't remember. But it basically looks like the, the Looney Tunes outro symbol thingy but without the words. It looks pretty dumb, but I kind of want it. I'm going to go for it later. But for the sake of content, I'm going to be Caviera just so I can... Be a little bit interesting in how I play. Probably gonna be a quieter gameplay. And hopefully they don't see me. I can get maybe a, a uh, you know, interrogation down here. I doubt that they'll actually notice them up here, so. See if we can reinforce while we're here, just on the south side. I don't think they've seen me. Fox. Yeah. We're just gonna wait here for whoever comes. Hopefully, we can just wait them out. Right before. Is that someone? Did I hear someone? used. What the fuck? He was in there the whole time? Oh fuck. That's fucking gay, dude. I think we want to play like that Hibana, play really outside, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, do I want to be glass? Hibana. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to just go Hibana. I mean, uh, the Breachers are lost, so like Thermite, Hibana. Ash is a little bit iffy for me. Uh, also, who else? I'm actually going to be Jackal. Fuck that. Oh, he has Jekyll. Never mind. We'll be Havana then. Uh, you know what? Glass. Glass only because I feel like being a glass today. I don't think Yacht is the best map whatsoever for this kind of approach, but we can make it happen. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It is casual, so I don't really give a shit, but for the content's sake, in this video's unboringness, well, play glass. Even though a lot of people hate him. I think they're below us. Yep. Oh, 
fuck? Everybody doesn't know, that's how you save your drone, just a little bit longer. Okay, so they got a Jaeger. Sounds like a Jaeger. Fuck, okay. Let's get this shit. The camera. How do we want to enter this? That's with fuse. Mirror destroyed him. Got one. Holy hell, where's this bitch coming from? Let's distract him a little bit. Oh, fucking pulse, dude. Of course. I'm just getting destroyed. Rip. Okay, let's let's try not to get 3 would We are playing a bunch of platinum since I am a platinum myself. They actually did have a, a rank-based matchmaking, so on casual you do get if you're like golds or platinums, depending on who you play, you do get those characters. So we're gonna be Capcan just because I really like his gun, even though. I feel like we should be essential operators like mute and all them. So I'm gonna see if we can be mute. This is very essential to how we play this game. We don't have an RK5. Have two recruits. Hopefully, we can come out with W. Let's see. Reverse sweep. It's gonna be a long video, but just an update video. But it's all good. This video is gonna go up a little late. I'm, my apologies, I do have a performance today, if you guys don't already know, I play orchestra, so I have to play for graduation of the 2017 class, so that's what I'm actually going to be going to in like 30 minutes after I get some breakfast and so it should be interesting. Three, five. My potato ain't that bad. Okay. Signal disruptor. Nice. So just put them at the doorways. And the obvious points.
We'll see if we can hide out in here. I know this is very fucking Sonic gameplay. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on, I'm watching this. It just fucking destroyed me. Okay, we got destroyed. 3-0. I don't care. Anyway, thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next one. Peace.